Hello, Katrina Bullock for the Finance News Network. And joining me today from Brainship Holdings is President and CEO Lou Donato. Lou, welcome back. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, Brainship is a global technology company producing a groundbreaking chip with AI capabilities. Could you tell us more? Certainly. Uh, Brainship's developing a neuromorphic processor, which is a uh, completely different architecture from what's historically been considered compute. The device is called the Kida, uh, and we really address a wide variety of applications targeted primarily at the far edge uh, devices, surveillance cameras, automobiles, uh, devices at the edge, not in the cloud, not in the uh, data center. Thanks, Lou. Now, Brainship's recently announced collaborations and partnership agreements for that Akita chip. Could you tell us more about those, starting with Virago Technologies? Sure. Uh, Virago is an interesting company. They take existing designs, uh, such as we have with Akita, and they radiation harden them so they're fit for space flight and aerospace applications. They work closely with NASA, and in turn, we will work closely with NASA. Uh, so it's, a, it's an exciting opportunity for us to get Akita into spacecraft and into space. Uh, that uh, agreement exercises our early access program, as Akita is now in test and ready to deliver shortly to customers uh, on the early access program. They'll have access to both the devices, evaluation boards, as well as dedicated support. And can you tell us about your venture with Magic Eye Incorporated? Yes, Magic Eye is an interesting company. Uh, they have a proprietary technology to do what's called 3D point cloud. Uh, primarily, people expect 3D point cloud to be used in LiDAR applications for automotive, uh, assist, uh, driver assisted systems, as well as autonomous vehicles. Uh, this type of uh, opportunity with Magic Eye, they use an off the shelf CMOS sensor. Uh, and use some proprietary technology. They're coupling that with Akita to do everything from video gaming to automobiles. They open up or are a gateway for us into the Japanese market. They're a well-known entity in Japan. So we're looking, uh, we're looking forward to working with them and very excited about the applications that they serve. The Akita chip has been available for testing as a software development kit for some time now. What difference do you think it makes having the physical chip? It's very significant. There's a lot of noise in the marketplace around artificial intelligence. You read the newspaper every day. Everybody's claiming to be in artificial intelligence. We have a full simulation package and customers or potential customers have been working with that for many months. But having silicon validation where they can see it working in hardware makes a big difference and helps build confidence. Now to finances and your share price, which has been on a bullish run of late. Could you provide an update on your funding agreement with the LDA Capital? Yes, again, uh, the, you're right. The, uh, the share price has taken uh, a very nice step up. Uh, if you look back just a few months ago, we were in single digits. And uh, yesterday, we tipped well over 50 cents a share. Uh, so you know, give or take a 1,000% increase in a few months. So we have a loyal Australian shareholder base. They're building confidence in the company, and they demonstrate that uh, with the demand for our equity. Uh, the agreement we have with a US-based investor, LDA, is, uh, gives us access to 29, 29 million Aussie dollars, uh, but it's a put option. It's at our discretion when and if uh, we choose, choose to put the shares, we can raise the capital. Uh, so it's very flexible and somewhat favorable uh, to the company, which is very nice. And Lou, shareholders would no doubt be thrilled with the share price over recent months. Where is the stock sitting today and what value does that put on the company? Your market is just open, so I haven't checked uh, yet this morning since I've been uh, on with you. Uh, yesterday we had a very nice ride. I think we, uh, for the high of the day, was 59 cents Aussie and I think we closed at 50. And again, well up from single digits just several months ago. And Lou, what's ahead for the next couple of quarters? The next couple of quarters, uh, you know, as we finish out this year, we will go through the validation process of each of the functional blocks on the IC, manufacture the evaluation boards, get them in the hands of customers. As we get into the first and second quarter of next year, that'll be reduced to practice, hopefully by our customers, as we expect. Uh, and we'll start to see things go into end equipment, uh, where they'll do their testing and validation of the entire system. And Lou, before we let you go, anything else you'd like to add? 
Uh, you asked some very good questions. I think it's an extremely exciting time uh, for BrainChip. We've worked for the better part of four or five years in developing and designing this integrated circuit. And uh, as an engineering team, a management team, sales and marketing, it really is rewarding to have silicon in hand uh, and be able to deliver that to customers. Lou Donato, thanks for the update and congratulations again on the progress and the market's response. Thank you very much.